Hey guys, it's Carrie, and I'm back with another cooking video for you today. So, Cooking with Carrie, and today I'm going to be doing a beef tenderloin. It is actually very easy to do. Um, you will need a few things, um, like a pan to put it in. Um, I also would suggest getting a meat thermometer because it's a good idea to take the internal temperature of the tenderloin. And depending on if you prefer it rare, medium rare, medium, or well done, I personally prefer it kind of medium to well done. It's just personal preference. I realize that some people think it ruins the meat, but that's what I prefer to do. So you need to do uh, use a meat thermometer and just Google the, um, the internal temperature for what um, range that you prefer your meat cooked and that will tell you how long you need to leave it in the oven. I did find out that the particular ranges that I was looking at, um, they were off about 10 degrees because when I liked it well done, it was, um, when I measured it at the temperature that it said it was well done, it was still bleeding. So just watch that. I think that's a good thing. And then um, I hope you enjoy the video. I'm going to be doing some beef tenderloin today. I got this at Whole Foods and I went ahead and just repackaged it in a plastic bag. I learned my lesson the way they package these at Whole Foods. I ended up with blood everywhere. It was disgusting. <laughs> so I took it out of the package and put it in a plastic bag because it's been in the refrigerator. I do have it on a cast iron skillet right now. I am going to sear it on all sides. I'm going to put salt and pepper around it. And then I'm going to sear it in a little bit of butter. I like butter, guys. And then I'm going to roast it in the oven on about 425 degrees. Now, depending on how you like it, um, depends on how many minutes you need to leave it in there. I like mine well done. Some people think well done tenderloin is um, absolutely horrible <laughs> because they think it ruins the meat. I love it that way because I cannot stand to see uh, bloody meat. It just grosses me out. So I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of butter to the pan. And I thought I got some butter out. Um, this is the butter that I'm going to be using right here. It's the Kerry Gold Pure Irish Butter Unsalted. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that in the pan. And then I'm going to put salt and pepper on the uh, tenderloin and then start cooking. Now I, th I think this might still have some twine on it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the twine. You can leave it on there while it's cooking, but I actually have forgotten to remove it before, and it was not pleasant. I think that's the only piece on it. And I went ahead and got some salt and pepper out first because I knew I was going to be touching this meat, and I did not want to um, basically touch my salt or pepper containers while I was touching the meat. And you just want to rotate it all sides and then the ends of it. And the reason you want to sear it, uh, you don't have to sear it if you don't want to, but the reason I like to do it, I like to get like a brown um, all the way around it and I feel like it kind of locks in the flavor a little bit. going to roll it around, get all of that salt and pepper. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands right now. I'm going to turn on my pan and transfer that to the um, iron skillet. Okay, the butter's melting, so I'm going to go ahead and just place the tenderloin on this skillet. And so what I'm going to do is sear all of the sides of that. And you're probably going to hear Coco and Chanel whining a little bit in the background. They are ready to eat some right now. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm going to go ahead and transfer the meat to this dish right here. If you have a roasting pan, you can definitely use that. I just don't have one specifically um, for a meat this size. If you had like, I have something for bigger pieces of meat, but for this size, this is what I have. So I'm just placing that there. Next, I've cut up some onions. You probably see them in the background. I'm just going to place some onions over the top. This is just for a little bit of flavor. I think you can pretty much add whatever you want. Some people do like a soy sauce. I'm just doing this and I'm going to put a little bit of butter on top of the onion so that will help them cook just for the flavor. I did see a recipe and I tried it where there's a brown butter sauce you can put on it but I actually did not like that myself <laughs> so I'm just putting the onions on it for now. This was one I've done before this specific way and it was so so tasty. I apologize for the puppies barking. So just a little bit of butter. This is mainly for the onions. And uh, my oven is already preheated to 425. I do have a meat thermometer that I will be using. Oh, it's right here. Um, again, um, I'll have to, you'll have to look up online to see if you prefer it rare, what the temperature should be. I think it's like 120 degrees to 125 degrees for rare. And then it may be like 130 degrees for medium. I'm not 100% sure on that. I know um, for well done, which is the way I like it, it needs to be around 160 degrees. That's what I've said. I saw online it was like 150 degrees. It was not well done at 150. So I'm going to roast this to about 160 to 170 degrees. That is the way I do it. But and uh, <laughs> you can do it how you want to do it. I'm just showing you how I do it today. I forgot one thing. I put it in the oven, then I realized I forgot. <laughs> I've got some roasted garlic that I just um, had made yesterday, actually. And I forgot to smear that across it. It is super tasty that way. So I'm going to put the onions back on it. I had to knock them off to get the garlic on there. So sorry about uh, forgetting that. And then I forgot to tell you, I gotta, I'm going to put foil on there. So I apologize for my forgetfulness. I just got the tenderloin out of the oven and it is looks like it's perfectly cooked to me. It hit about 170 degrees. I did stick the thermometer in. It hit 160, but when I removed the thermometer, blood was still coming out of it. I do not like that. I've already said that. So I put it in for about another five or so minutes and let it hit 170 degrees. So I'm just letting it rest right now and I cannot wait to enjoy this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye everybody.